My name is DJ Cook. I'm a neurosurgeon and neuroscientist at Queen's University. My laboratory is interested in understanding how the brain rewires and remaps in the process of recovery following injury. Currently, we have a very poor understanding of how brain networks are perturbed and how the brain reacts to uh, minor traumatic brain injury. At this point in history, there's no imaging biomarker, no sign on an MRI, for instance, that a brain has sustained a minor brain injury. Things like uh, concussion and minor traumatic brain injury are really a clinical diagnosis based on symptoms that the patient experiences uh, and, and then expresses to the clinician. Our goal here is to develop a set of biomarkers that will allow us to diagnose minor traumatic brain injury. What excites me the most are the potential applications that this research could have for the concussed subjects that we're scanning. So we're looking not only at athletes, but also for the military personnel and anybody who goes through a motor vehicle accident or even young kids. We are providing the tools and the information for the medical team looking at a concussed population and concussed subjects on a per subject basis to make informed decisions. That, that information is missing at the it, it always looks the same on an MRI. You can never tell that there's an injury there unless you start using these very sensitive ways to look at it. Uh, support for this type of research is really important at this point uh, as we are in the early stages and presently developing a body of literature to support what we're doing. Uh, the support that we receive uh, through private donations and through efforts like the golf tournament will help us to support young scientists who actually do the legwork, who perform the scans, who analyze the data, and who produce uh, the data that will drive this research forward. At the bare minimum, uh, what we want is a set of biomarkers that will provide diagnostics that will, one, confirm the presence of the brain injury, and two, allow us to monitor a patient's recovery after brain injury. Uh, and this will allow us to guide the patient in making decisions such as returning to play an athletic activity or returning to work um, at, at its very basic form. Being a neurosurgeon, uh, he's very young at heart and he doesn't seem to be stopped by any hurdles. So, um, he's very passionate and motivated. Him sitting in between research and uh, his uh, clinical work, he's at the best position to know exactly what's important, what works, what doesn't. He needs, you know, quick results and effective results. He's not around to just, you know, look for general science of, you know, brain physiology is super interesting, but if it can tell you what's wrong after, especially a brain injury, then that's very, very important because it saves lives.